Yo, what's going on traders? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy Juba Snipe and I say I'm back with another video for you guys. So guys, today I'm going to show you guys my strategy. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how I'm using my price action. So, so far guys, um, I've been killing Euro CHF, as you can see here, as you can see this one right here. So I'm going to explain everything guys, how I was able to find this trade right here and kill this this trade right here something about 200 and uh and 50 pips 250 pips it's a lot guys it's a lot and this is the reason why i love i don't scalp the market this is the reason why i don't recommend anyone to, to use uh scalping strategy in the market because scalping for sure it's gonna make you lose a lot for sure trust me what i believe in is to take two trades or three trades even if two trades they stop you out you only won one trade you still going to make a profit because you take high probability so this is what i recommend to you guys take high probability this is going to help you increase your losses and make more profit so you take three trades even if two trades they stop you out you're still gonna be profitable because you took high probability so if you're into the channel please remember subscribe to the channel and if you already subscribed to the channel you know what to do click that like button and let's get to the video so for this who wish to join the free telegram group the link is always on description below and for this who always asking like oh which which blocker are you using you can also check the link on description below for the blocker that i'm using no big spread i like him because he doesn't have a big spread you know what i'm saying it's a good one so everything guys you wish are on description below so let's get the video let me the strategy with you and i hope you will like it so guys as you can see here on the chart as you can see here on the chart we have a euro chair for the chart so i'm gonna keep it simple and show you guys how i was able to find this trade right here so as you can see the market has been uh, forming lower low lower highs lower low lower highs lower low lower highs lower low lower highs so what you do is once you see the market is forming lower low lower highs something like that what you do is you're just gonna take your trend line and pull up you know put your trend line you know say i put my trend line right here i put my my trend line right here just to confirm the trend just to confirm the trend you know what I'm and let me find the support as well this one right here was my support uh this one right here was my re resistance firm so now you can see that the market has been moving in between this channel right here you know what I'm saying so as soon as I, I find this market like this the market was at this point here the market was at, at this point here you know what i'm saying and then i've been waiting for the market to to give me a pullback at the trend line so that i can enter with the sell but at the same time i was like no this market has been you know it's been it's oversold so anytime it's gonna change the direction you know what i'm saying then i was like yo okay cool so but as soon as the market give me the pullback i'm gonna enter with the sell but my my first take profit is going to be at this point here film but at this point here this point here as soon as i was still waiting for the pullback to the trend line so that i can enter with the sell it didn't give me the pullback as i was you know say as i was wishing the market just decide you see you can see that it didn't give me any confer any confirmation candlestick to enter 
then i was like you know i'm still waiting for the confirmation at this point here at this point here because we you know guys we always enter with the confirmation it doesn't matter that the market is at the at, at the zone at the trend line or what you always supposed to wait for the confirmation if you don't see no confirmation then don't enter the market and then after that i waited for the confirmation i couldn't find the confirmation at this point so that i can sell the currency after some few minutes the market just decided to break out the trend line and then as soon as the market break out the trend i knew that the market is going to go crazy you know what i'm saying you can see these numbers right here you can see these numbers right here this number right here this point here this is where i got in with a breakout right here then i knew that the market is going to go crazy on uptrend because it was already oversold then I, I give the signal to my team i told them like yo you know guys now we're gonna put our stop loss right here we're gonna put our stop loss right here right right here then we're going to swing the currents back all the way to this point right here you see all the way to this point right here so we entered here you know so we entered here you can see if it was like we're gonna wait for the pullback if it was like we're gonna wait for the pullback at this point right here you know sometimes it's good to take it out to take a risk you know and say if it was like we're gonna wait for uh, the market's gonna give us some pullback something like this something like this it's gonna maybe it's gonna do something like this and come back here at this point and give us the opportunity we wasn't gonna win this trade but this day bro i was like yo i didn't get the, the i didn't have a, a, um an opportunity in the market this day i was like yo you know what let's just enter you know we're just gonna put our stop loss here so if it's gonna give us this some pullback it's gonna pull back with us and continue with us you know what i'm saying and then i entered at this point i give the signal to my team i entered this point we swing it swing it swing it our first take profit was this one right here this one was our first take profit you know what i'm saying and after the first take profit i shifted my stop loss at this point here after the market continued at this point it gave us the pullback and then i shifted my uh my stop loss at this point here at this point here and they give us some continuation our second take profit was this one right here let me show you our second take profit was this one here you know what i say this was our, our second take profit i also shifted my stop loss at this point here here this way shifted my stop loss after after the pullback was done and after the continuation at this point the market did give me a little bit pullback here you know and say here and shift again my stop loss at this point here somewhere around here then after that i was so comfortable I was like yeah man now i'm gonna walk away from the market so anyway in time soon it's gonna drop me out you know i said with the tp but bro you, you won't believe what happened let me show you what happened at this point at this point what happened was i've been waiting for the market to drop me out because i was already you know put shift my stop loss at this point i was like no anytime the market is gonna drop me out you know what i'm saying and i walk away from the market and then once i come back to, me, to the market today i told like it's already you know drop me out yo i come back man i was like yo man didn't drop me out it was like five peeps i mean five peeps to drop me to drop me out but came back let me show you the market came back here so without drop me out you know i said it didn't hit my tp just came back here now it's playing around this point here so now i'm waiting as soon as the market come back at this point right here now i'm watching the market i'll, be, I'll have to to take my profit money because yeah but as soon as as soon as the market drop me out i'll be out this is my last take profit right here so this is how i was able to find this trade but so far you can see so far you can see that this point right here this point right here where we at right now let me show you you can see that this point right here 
this is the strong zone this is the strong zone in time in time soon in time the market is gonna shoot up this way you know it's gonna shoot up this way because you can see the market doesn't want to break this zone right here this is the strong strong zone so in time we're gonna hit our tp here and get out of the market so man this is how i was able to find this trade and this is the trick that i was using to kill this market right here which i've been shifting my stop loss after i've been waiting for the pullback then i shift the stop loss at the pullback i work i wait for another pullback i shift the stop loss to the other pullback once the market continue give me another pullback i shift my stop loss at the pullback so this is how you you will be able to always kill the market print more money from the market by shifting the stop loss so i hope you learned something peace out see you on the next one